written skills. We know she has no written skills. She can't put two sentences together without making a grammatical error. Oh, here's the kicker. Is that a, is, can you just ask, can I just ask if that's an opinion or do you have fact on that? Which one? Whether she can write two sentences without making a grammatical error? Yes, I do. Okay. I, I really, I got to tell you, I think it's inappropriate to be talking about employees when they don't have notice, they're not here, it's not on an agenda, and I think it's wholly inappropriate. Shut me down, and, and Mr. I think, and I you think will this be in. conversation should end. Right. You're subjecting yourselves to uh, liability here by allowing, this is not free speech. This could be construed as defamation. So that's that, my advice to you. You know, do what that's, you want. That's outrageous, Mr. Oliver. You have absolutely no idea what the First Amendment's all so, about. If I may that's my up, advice Mr. to you. Mr. Lombardo. As when we get into personnel matters and a member of the public is concerned about a personnel matter, would it not be appropriate to invite that person into executive session to, if, you, if that person does want to talk to the council? That's right, because the, the issue here is now getting into the personnel's qualifications, job performance, and that individual has rights under the Open Meetings Act. And so they have a right to be notified, and to the extent any discussion takes place, they have a right to have at an executive session or they could have it in a public session. And that's really the point that I was trying to make, is that that, that is appropriate after notice. It's set forth right in the Open Meetings Act. And uh, they have a right to be there and defend themselves and to offer any other information. Would I be out of line to uh, uh, have Mr. Labardo come in and discuss this matter with the council in executive session? Well, you would have to invite the employee. You would have to invite the employee to be there. Correct. Right. Thank you, Mr. Lombardo, for indulging our conversation. Yeah, I'm not, as I told you when I started, I'm not backing down from the First Amendment. What your solicitor is saying is completely wrong, absolutely wrong. I can say whatever I want. Um, there is a balancing test. But over with the public employee information, it's not a balancing test. It's the, if you have a document that has this information, um, it, it is public. Well, so, there's a name record. Executive session to talk about job performance, and you notify them. And they say, I want to come to executive session, and I want it closed. That's, that's their prerogative. No. It's your prerogative whether or not you want him or her there. The really? The invitation lies with the public body. So we can ask someone to come in. We can, we, can, <laughs> we can tell someone that we're going to be talking about their job performance in executive session. We don't necessarily have to invite them into there. That's correct. But they can say, you're not going to talk about it in there. You've got to talk about it out here, and they're going to be present. Correct. There's another um, twist. If, if um, accusations are made against an employee in an open session, does, does that employee have any rights to privacy uh, under the Open Meetings Act? And they say, you can talk about me all day, but it's got to be an exec executive session? No. The, uh